I'm the most famous person in West Virginia at the moment. I'm a social media influencer slash like actor model. And basically I just influence for like kids and people around my age. Oh, oh, baby. I am the realest, what else would you call it? They've been in their feelings if I'm being honest. And I've been no chill, I'm just waiting. Getting discovered, you need to be verified. Like verification would be very important to me. I've always loved like me being on camera and I feel like I don't want to just be famous to brag about it. I just want to be famous because I think it's cool. To get verified is one of my big goals. If I get the blue check mark, it would open a lot of doors. I like being famous. I would love for my career to launch, like I would love to have a bigger goal. Like I wanna hit like a million, like keep growing from there. We still need to do that one TikTok. What's TikTok? The um screaming behind you? Yeah, and yeah, taking pictures, random pictures. And taking and we need to take pictures. Yeah. TikTok has like a For You page. It just has random videos. Scrolling through that For You page, you could see trends like what people are doing. For this video, you go up to random people and just pose and just don't say nothing. And like they have a funny reaction. And we realized that that might blow up on our accounts and like do good for us. To get verified is basically having that blue check next to your name. It might not look like a lot, but having the blue check like pushes you out to like more people to discover you, more people to find you. It just helps with like a bunch with your career. Jakey, right? Jakey. Yeah, are you Jakey? Oh, where's my phone? You from Morgantown? Yeah. Six thousand likes is not too good for my account. I'm probably gonna have to delete the video. I don't like seeing that. But I guess it's like not good enough to be viral. I guess. Whenever my videos at least like don't get twenty k likes, then I delete it. I wish I was from LA because like that's more the hype. So everybody would like be more hyped up. Morgantown, West Virginia is kind of a small town. It's pretty quiet. California represents Hollywood. Like that's the capital of like famous people. Like that would be my dream place. I love dancing. It feels amazing. My body can just like takes over and it just like makes me feel better about myself. Like some people can't dance and it's so cool that I can dance. When I used to get bullied, I would come to dance to feel free. You walk into the studio and it's a safe place. Nobody's gonna bully you there. Your body's hype, nothing. Um, this is my crown from Southern Dazzling Beach Bells. I won the whole entire pageant, and I actually have this video uploaded on TikTok of me getting really, really surprised. It was a whole, like, it was a shock. This is my best friend, and these are all of my other friends. This is my beanbag. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I actually have a hamster. Um, her name is Princess Glowstar. This is her cage. So that'll... Star! Wait, mom, I actually can't find her. I can't find her. She's a bike you Oh, she's in the tube.
She's in the tube. Is she alive? No, stop, stop, stop. She is. Oh, I'm so glad you're alive. She helps me cope with everything. To get verified is one of my big goals. Fair. Fair. Dun, 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 fair. Or maybe we can just go. Libby supports me a lot. Maybe we can just go. Are you ready? This is like, okay, you ready? No. She can be very, no. I don't know how to put it, um, very grouchy. Kick. Kick. But she's really supporting. Kick. Just whatever voice she wants. Kick. Kick. When I was doing Kick. musically and stuff, she always wanted to be in my videos. Where's the picture? Musical.ly was a platform that was really cool and really fun. Do you really think I was going to eat this dog food? It was the original TikTok. As soon as you pose, then you start. Punch, punch, pose. In the beginning, I would get tons of likes and tons of views and everything. And like having fun with it and people were enjoying the videos that I made. What should the caption be? And then... Musically turned into TikTok. And TikTok said, Well, you have to be 13. And I was not 13 yet. So it kind of just like went downhill. I wasn't getting a lot of views or followers anymore. It made me feel a little sad because I was like, well, that was fun while it lasted, I guess. It impacted my self-esteem, but it, it was still fun. You know, it's still fun to do TikTok. A glow up is when you like improve your looks. So basically in eighth grade, I had like a flat top and I like didn't wear my glasses at all. And like when social media started, I realized that you need to be like good looking to like grow a following. So I started growing my hair out, like wore my glasses. You basically just grow into like a better feature and like better looks of yourself. That's basically a glow up. I like that. I think you're gonna have to do this one. You can still make an outfit out of this. No. Yes, you can. Try it on. <laughs> this is not oh, it. Fold this up once. To where it's not over. You mean that my sack socks are black? I mean white. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe not. Are you going to keep it like that, or are you going to tie it right here? Whatever. What would look better? Try it tied. Looks, especially for like a creator, like what I do, that's like probably like the main thing. I don't know. I had to work with what I have. It's not, it's not the best, but it's not the worst, you know? You have to like worry about what you look like 24-7. It, it gets stressful. It gets very stressful. I don't know what to do, bro. And then to keep them there, after you get the looks, you have to have a personality, like make them laugh and everything. There's a bunch of stuff in my room that we could look at and be like, oh yeah, that's a promo. That was a sponsor. I got that for free. Like all my clothing is either from Goodwill or a sponsor. It's 250 per promo, and then there could be like ones where it's like 700. I do around like four or three per week. Every time I make like a big amount of money, I split it in half, put it in savings. Soon, me and my mom are gonna start investing in stocks. That is very you. No, we'll go back, go back slowly. I like that one. You go. My mom is uh, basically like that one? a manager for me. Like oh she tells me what I should post like and like how I should post it. Like Wait, what I should do with my money. Like how I should start saving it. No, keep going forward again. My mom loves to protect me. 
if I want to go to LA, like she won't let me move right now because I'm too young. Turn it up. Stop. <laughs> Wait, Eddie. Ready? Do you know it? No. Yeti. Girl. Good thing, good thing, good thing. Good thing, Together. Forever. We're in. Wait. <laughs> oh my god. TikTok is way better than TV. You know, I actually cannot sit down and fully watch through a movie. Like, I cannot, but like, I can sit there and scroll TikTok. So I'd probably spend like five hours a day. Pick you up like a Cadillac. TikTok opens me up into like a whole other world. Like, it's crazy. The trends, I see dancing, and I do see a lot of cooking. A lot of comedy pets are a big one. Working out is a big one right now, too. Like, I just don't get it. Like, it's not fun to watch someone lift weights. Unless it's your boyfriend. <laughs> just saying, just saying. What are you doing? I keep on running. She likes dance, but she likes art better. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. Oh, what are we looking for? <laughs> it's right there. Libby, are we like best friends? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we fight a lot. But like, then we like make it up. So like, I guess we're best friends. Give me a hug. <laughs> what about you, Libby? Do you really care about what you look like online? Yeah. <laughs> like, I wouldn't wear pajamas to school because I have like, six followers. <laughs> Proving you wrong. Yeah, she can prove me wrong. See, I only have six. <laughs> it's weird. I don't want to stay young, but I do want to stay young. <laughs> <laughs> After I turn 13, I'm definitely going to do dance videos. Let me see a pirouette. Yeah. Ugh, my pirouettes are really bad right now. Yeah. They're really bad right now, Mom. Do your double back walk over into uh, um, an arabesque. Better. Still got a bent. I Try really it. don't. I... Try. <sighs> okay. I have been performing since I was 17 months old. Oh, look at there. I am right. We are definitely a dance family. That leg needs to be straight. Don't go here and then up. Make it a continuous motion. And if you are a dancer, you need to have hard work. Like, you, you can't just like, okay, one more time, halfway do it. Make it right. If you do it perfect this time, you don't have to uh, do it again. My mom used to coach me a lot, but now yeah. she'll just kind of like, you know, like yeah. help me with stuff. Oh, no, wait. No, no, hold on to me. Hold your leg, arm out. But my mom's a perfectionist and she wants oh, really my bad. every dance move Put to be it. perfect. Mom, 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 stop. <laughs> and I'm like, mom, it can't, every, no, not everything would be perfect, okay? <laughs> and then I want it to be perfect. So it's kind of like, I'm trying to like fight with my mom, but like I can't fight with her because I want it to be perfect too. Oh, I have to stick that. I just learned this. I spend a lot of time looking in the mirror because I want to look perfect. All right, do it again. Try to land that. Turn. Like I don't want someone to bully me because the way that I look. But like, I feel like I shouldn't care about that. Like, why do I, I should not care about what people think about me. Like, I should just stop thinking. But like, I can't. Like, so I, like right before I go to dance, I like have to flat iron my hair, even though I'm gonna put it up in a bun right after the next class. I did go through a lot of bullying um, online, dance and um, pageants <laughs> plus school. It was, um, it was a lot. I've definitely got cringe and not funny and ugly a lot and no eyebrows. So my parents told me that I was not allowed to look at the comments because um, I would get down if someone bullied me. Okay. I've kind of like overcome all of that. But like, I still like care about the way I look because I don't want people, you know, people 
bullying me or talking behind my back because of the way I look. Is it too dark? What? My makeup? No. You don't like it? I don't know. Influencers normally go to LA. They'll have a good following in LA. Brass TV is a YouTube show that like targets my generation. I got that audition like very easy. The director said that the YouTube people are gonna love me and stuff. I just wanna try it out, try new things, see how this goes, stuff like that. Are you gonna smile? All right, Harrison Ford? Who's that? Billy Bob Thornton? You really don't? No. What about Russell Crowe? No, I don't know anything. What? Christina Aguilera? Jiggy, the, the doors. doors. Who is that? Oh. The doors. Mm. Okay, Jiggy, I'm I'm done with you. Here, pull, roll one pants leg up to your knee and stand Why? in front of LL Cool J, because that's his style. You have to pull it up to the oh, knees, so or weird. it won't make sense. You're so weird. <laughs> Do it, you. I mean, no, that's it. It's got to come up from oh, the bottom. You're so weird. Right there, 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 right there. Do you want me to do it on your phone so you can put it up on Insta? Coming. What's hey, up, Jiggy? What's up? Nice to finally meet you, up, man. man. So good to finally see you. <laughs> how are you? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Thank you so much for everything. Absolutely. Person. Yeah. IRL, as Jiggy would say. Come Hi. in. <laughs> Come on in. I don't know what happened. It didn't stay. So I'm gonna have to like, I don't know, do it like this. Rico is a like a manager slash like he just helps people like see what their future is, help them get like gigs. Okay. There we go. I look for triple threats. I look for people that are actors, singers, musicians, whatever the case may be, that also have a good heart. I messed it up, no. You can be the most beautiful person in the world. I'm not gonna work with you if your heart doesn't reflect that. You can all just be around, but then how's it gonna be? Yeah, facts, how am I gonna be in it? And so when I look for kids, when I look for talent, I look for people who I feel like are gonna help me spread that message by making them an example. I want to monopolize LA. So I want to convince people around the world, if you work hard enough, maybe you'll get invited to one of my content houses. I would love to live in a content house. Just to be like, with other creators like my age, I'd be like, yeah, let's make some content, like let's do something. And then also realizing that they do the same things that I do, like being with friends, living with friends. That's basically how I see it. I just can't wait to see, you know, the next journey. I feel like you'll inspire a whole bunch of kids. Make sure you stay humble. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be a lot of people that try to knock you off your course and you gotta stay in tunnel vision. Success is where you're going. Just, you're a positive kid, just make sure you stay positive. Do you want me to do a picture here? Stand back. No, I'm cool. Let me just get one for your sisters. Mom. What? They don't want to see you that you're this? here. Why do you do this? Huh? They'll be jealous. Don't you want them to be jealous? That house that Rico got is pretty nice. I like it a lot. It's, it's extremely cool. OK, so what makes it cool? Like, why? Just the fact that the other boys are there, yeah, or just that, that it's a? That, and it's very nice, and it's like out. You could do a lot, there's a lot of different places to do. Yeah, it's pretty nice. If you come down here, and you work, you're gonna have to not only just come and do the fun, but you have to plan for the future, so you're gonna have to learn how much money you're making, how you're gonna save it, track all of that. You know, make sure your business is still going, get the merchandise going, like it's a lot of work. It's not just fun that they're having over, they have to actually plan out their day. and you know, in their life. I mean, they're not gonna be able to live in a content house forever. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, crazy. it is a really unique place. It's... I'm moving here. No, you can't leave me yet. I'm moving at 17. That's my legal age. 
<laughs> Maybe when you graduate from high school and you can cook yourself an egg. It says you're gonna get nasty. Yeah, right. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what that means? Though? Yes. You shouldn't even have it's that. It's just a video. You shouldn't even have that in your edits. That's completely inappropriate. It's in my Layla. I know. I know. Why did you even make that video? <laughs> you can be 30 and you're not gonna post something like <laughs> oh, that. Oh no, oh no, baby. You gotta be careful about making videos like that. Because yeah. remember, you're a role model for other kids. My family is definitely supportive, especially my parents. My dad is like, whatever you want to do, do it. Just nothing bad. Like, do whatever you want. And then my mom's like, helping me. There you go. Ow, you're not leaving your room. I don't have much room. In the past, social media became like all consuming with our family. Anytime we were awake, we were on live. Hey, everybody, I'm getting this. No. <laughs> Basically, this social speaker. media became our reality. If it had continued on, I couldn't imagine it had hurt us even more as a family. When they started ghosting all of her accounts and everything, it was almost like a, a blessing in my eyes. I'm, I'm not ready to jump back in as a family to do that. But I'm here to support my kids and what they want to do. Yeah, it makes me happy that like you like support me in like whatever I want to do, you know? Well, that's what we're here to do is to support yeah. you. you. Why do you want to use dance as your platform? Um, because I feel like better when I dance. Like if I had a hard time, like I would just go into dance and like leave it outside. Like mm -hmm. I feel like dance is a safe place for me. Have you had experiences where you've been bullied? Yeah. Well, tell me about those experiences. Open up to me and let me know. Well, it's okay. Like I feel like ballet used to be like something I would not want to go to dance because I don't like ballet. But to be a ballerina, you don't have to be like the ballerina type. There is what like, is the ballerina type? What? Ballerina type is like, you have to be like the skinny. Mm -hmm. But that's not so true. So like, yeah, you can be like bigger. You can be curvy. Like you don't have to be small. Like Miss Maddie told me that. It actually kind of makes me pretty emotional because like dance I used as an emotional outlet when I was a kid, and that's really cool that you're, it it's cool that you're able to express through that. And it's cool that you have teachers that are inspiring you to do that as well. Okay. That's cool. Come here. That's cool. <laughs> hey. That's really cool. I'm so glad to hear that. What a cool platform. You can inspire other girls to be who they are, be who they want to be. I feel like this TikTok is like, it's for everyone. Mm -hmm. It's not just for like the skinny girls. Like, you know what I mean? It's like for everyone, you know? I want to be part of it. Well, good. I think you're ready. Mm -hmm. Excited to see what everybody else looks like. They were getting the soccer team ready. That was cool. Mm -hmm. Thanks for letting me set up shop here with you. It's the least I can do. You've helped me so much. It's been fun. She smiles. Totally. My mom, she acts very like nice and smiles all the time. But in her head, she's thinking, she's like, I need to protect it. Like, he can't move here. Like, I know this, but I'm just going to keep a smile on my face to keep him happy. And then I'm going to tell him later. I'm extremely nervous about acting. Like, what if I forget my lines? Like, what if I don't know what to do? Like, what if something like this doesn't help? And then I realized like everybody there is like really like nice and outgoing. They they'll support you. Like if you mess up, they'll be like, that's fine, just redo it, it's fine. A bunch of those people from like Bratz TV have a good following. So yeah, I think it's gonna help me a lot. I think it's gonna impact my followers a lot. I'm getting a little homesick, like missing my friends and stuff, but it's also LA, so I love being here and like I don't want to go home, so like I'm in a mix between both of them. So I don't know how I feel about like all that. 
Hey guys, this is Layla, and I'm coming back to TikTok to inspire you. And this is how. That was really good, Lay. That's good. Hey guys, this is Layla, and I'm coming back to TikTok to inspire you. And this is how. <laughs> I can't see myself, like, having a lot of followers. Like, it's just weird. But I do. <laughs> I have a lot. It's really awesome to see my dreams come true. So I'm gonna put the same exact energy as I put into dance, what I will do for acting. I'm gonna put in the same effort for everything, except when I clean my room. TikTok's definitely an opportunity. Ever since I've been like back from LA, I've been working out. I just want to see myself improve. <laughs> I can't with my left arm. Imagine like taking the shirtless pics, like everybody loves that. Like once I get out of this cuteness, I'm gonna be like a man, so I'm gonna be attractive, so I need to have an attractive body, you know? Yes, I'm Go my mom loves to protect me. If I want to go to LA, like she won't let me move right now because I'm too young. I used to argue with it, and I realized I'm only 16. I'm only a sophomore. Like I cannot move right now. Being from a small town is like different because I'm different from everybody else here. That's a big accomplishment. Like so, I realized that it's a good thing. Thank you.